Hello guys, what is up? I'm back. I look like shit. That's alright, because hopefully the next time you guys see me, I will finally get my hair done and I'll finally put dreads in it, but it's just such a daunting task. You know, my hair is not a good texture. It's Today, it's honestly just me showing you guys my process when I painted this, because I just got inspired one day because I saw a Twitter post and it was of the Spongebob like window and it looks super cool super dope like i'd love to have something like that on my wall one day but i don't have any circle canvases so i was like well, what can i draw and so i chose mr krabs's one million dollar and i put it in the canvas that his first dollar is in in that one episode um where they're painting his walls and they're not supposed to get like a drop on the canvas but i was like i was just inspired and i was like let's see if i can do it because It'd be cool to have a painting that has a frame around it and I even went and did brown on the sides but it looks so cool on my wall honestly I'm impressed with how it turned out I didn't expect it to come out this good but it's in my shop if you want it it's six dollars if you would like it you go check out the description below you can go to my coffee page and you can buy it if you want it but so this video is just me doing a speed through of it and I hope you guys enjoy it I hope you guys enjoy watching me paint and give me painting suggestions. Let me know what I should paint next. Give me more ideas. I love, I'm just trying to like build an inventory for my shop right now. So I'm painting anything and everything. So if you got an idea of something that you would like to buy a painting of, go ahead and give me a suggestion down in the comments below. I'll most likely paint it and put it in the shop. If you don't like it, you don't have to buy it. But I'm just trying to like basically just practice. But why not sell my practice paintings because I'm broke. <laughs> I'm broke and I need the money. I hope you guys can understand. Before this video gets started, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And I hope that everybody is having a great day today. I did something crazy, guys. Alright, so I used a book in order to do my colors. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. I did this because in my head, well, honestly, it worked. And I highly encourage you that if you have an art book laying around and you see one and you're intimidated by color theory like I am because I feel like I don't know how to pick the right colors that look right together. And if you're afraid that you will like mess up a whole painting because you'll use the wrong paint color or you'll mix the wrong things together, this book really helped me because it, it gave me the confidence to just do whatever and try out every technique in every way because I wasn't afraid that I wouldn't be able to get my color again because I used the book and I learned how to use the color mixing grid and with using the color mixing grid it really allowed me to like as because I record my painting so I can go back at any time and see what two colors I mixed in the recording in order to get the color back and so like as you guys see me using the color mixing grid I used it throughout the entire painting and that's honestly I think that's the biggest reason this painting was so successful because it takes the added pressure of having to remember the colors you use and trying to like when you're painting one section of the painting it just discourages you from being discouraged about it because you can always mix the color again and at the end of the day you can repaint the whole canvas if you really really wanted to and you get the same colors back you just would use them in a different way in different places and using the color mixing grid really helped me out a lot because Honestly, I think hopefully, I think I'm getting better with colors and finding light, light spots and dark spots on items to make them like pop and do things like that. But I'm still not perfect and honestly I still don't even know the basics of color theory. I just know that blue is a warmer color and yellow, I don't even think it's yellow but there's another colder color and they use white to lighten things and sometimes you use it's crazy. Color theory is crazy. Colors are crazy. I don't understand them, but I'm trying to learn them. And that's the biggest thing right now that I'm trying to focus on. So the color grid and using a book was a great idea. It really took the pressure off. And if you're ever like scared of using colors or anything like that, I highly recommend finding yourself a color mixing grid chart so that you have something to mix your colors on and get calculations on your colors instead of just blindly mixing things together and hoping for the best. And also on the frame, I went back a lot of times with the black to keep going over it in order to get them kind of just as perfect as possible because I, 
I wanted it to still look clean. I didn't want it to be like a messy, just cartoonish style. I still wanted it to be kind of clean, kind of stylish. And lately, I've been learning how like, not saying I'm getting my own style. I don't think I'm there yet at all. But I'm starting to understand how lines work and how different people have their own different ways of showing different types of lines. So I'm starting to finally like understand lines and that honestly that's the funnest part to me is throwing some paint on something and then using lines in order to make that blob of paint into a like an object or like something that looks neat and clean just from throwing like some green on the canvas and then like trying to outline it in darker greens like basically trying not to use with the dollar bill I tried my hardest not to use black to outline it because I feel like that would like defeat the purpose of it being a dollar bill and it's kind of the cheeky way out in my opinion well for me at least I think that most people who use like to outline their things in black like this is pretty cool sometimes it looks neat but for me I use it as like a safety blanket so I'm trying to steer away from that so with this I just kept mixing and mixing and mixing different types of green and trying my hardest to like find the perfect kind of green and as you see I messed up a little bit and I colored in the like rip in the dollar and also I'm not gonna tell you guys all the mistakes on the painting because if you buy it I don't want you to know how much I messed up on it but hey I there are a couple messed up but by the time I put Mod Podge on it and sealed it it was too late when I seen the mistakes I was like ah whatever but Honestly, I really enjoyed doing this painting. SpongeBob is one of my favorite shows as a kid. Literally decorated my whole room SpongeBob. My from my light switch to my with curtains to my bed sheets. My room was decked out. Like I even had stickers all over the walls. So SpongeBob is one of my favorite cartoons. And of course I had to do a painting of it. And honestly, it will not be my last and it's not my first. So Y'all keep y'all keep tuned, stay tuned, subscribe because I will definitely a hundred percent be doing more SpongeBob paintings. But I hope you enjoyed this speed through, and I hope you enjoyed seeing me paint. If you got any painting tips for me or anything like that, any like um painting brand suggestions, acrylic. I'm painting in acrylic, but if you have any other suggestions, let me know down in the comments, please. I make these videos to learn from you guys and also to maybe give you guys tips of my own that I've learned on the way. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it so much. If you did, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought. Tell me, do you like my painting? Would you pay $6 for this? Even if you don't buy it, would you? But I honestly, I enjoy doing it so much. It came out really cute and I love seeing it on my wall. It's so cute. And I'm so excited to do more like this. Before the video ends, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And drop a comment below. Tell me how your day's going. Tell me how you feel today. Are you feeling great? I'm feeling pretty happy. I did something cool that I didn't think that I could ever like paint like I didn't think I'd get this far in my art career and I'm making these videos so that you guys know you can get better at art and that if you want to learn how to draw and paint and make your dreams come true you can and I'm doing it day by day slowly by slowly like eventually maybe I'll be able to redo this painting and do a better version of it in like a year or two who knows where my artistic ability will go from here but thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoy 